One of the biggest disagreements in a relationship can be where things should go. Lucky for us, Report Builder really doesn't care where things go. You'd think that'd make our relationship easier, and it does, but we have to be very specific with Odoo Report Builder to tell it where things go. Otherwise, we can't be frustrated when it gets it wrong. So in the interest of repairing your relationship with Odoo Report Builder, today we're going to talk about how you lay out a report properly. So here we are on our demo. We're going to go ahead and go into sales and go to studio and we're going to go to reports and we're real quick going to create a new report. If you don't know how to do this, go ahead and look at my other video on safety in report builders. So we have our nice shiny new report here. Okay. So our first concept that we want to go over is how the page is broken out in Odoo report builder. So we want everything to look nice on our report. And part of that is allowing for longer text, shorter text, allowing things to kind of grow and shrink as they need to. Odoo allows for this by giving a system of columns and rows. And you may have guessed it, but we're going to heavily lean on the work of others to get where we want to go today. A good example of what we're wanting to look at here to understand this better is right here with these little columns. So we have your reference, order to date, and salesperson. So let's go ahead and try and find this in the XML real quick. Okay, so we found it here. This whole section is going to be first a row. You see that the div right here, the class is set as a row with a few other things in here that provide some formatting. So there's no set number of rows to a page, at least if there is, nobody told me about it. It all depends on how much information is in the columns that are inside of the row. These rows grow or shrink according to how much information is here, which is great because it keeps the format consistent for us. Now within a row, we have columns that further organize our data. Within a row, we can divide into up to 12 columns. So we could use three of the 12 columns and that would give us a fourth of the page or we could use four of the 12 columns and get a third of the page. It gives us a lot of flexibility here while keeping our format consistent. So let's go ahead and try out an example. We see here that we have a div, that's a row, okay? So everything inside of here is one row, okay? So we see your reference stacked on top of a field called client order reference, and that's what we're getting here. But if we look up at the class for this div, which is again a column, C-O-L, it's taking up three of our 12 columns with that C-O-L-3. So let's have a little fun and change this up. Let's say we want to use six of the 12, so this will take up half the page. You see how that kicks this way out to where this whole column is taking up half the page? Let's go ahead and create another row for ourselves because we like this format we can use it. So we're going to go ahead and select, and hopefully you saw this, I selected this whole thing right here, copied it, because this is the row and everything inside of it. Go ahead and paste and save. And now we have a whole nother row that then we can fill out with the fields that we want represented here. Now hopefully you're starting to see the power of this concept. It allows us to break up our entire report into little sections that then we can say, okay, there's an image here, there's a field and a header here, there's a table down here. It opens up a lot of possibilities for us. The really nice thing is that once we have this structure in place, we can go ahead and close out. I could come right here and say, instead of salesperson, I'm going to do a forward slash, stick a field in here, and it's going to be their percent happy. And we're just going to put percent happy as our default text here. And now, instead of salesperson, I have percent happy. And we can now leverage the tools that they give us for customizing our report, but we don't have to rely on them to set up our layout. So now you have some solid tools in your belt for setting up your layout. Again, lean very heavily on what other people have done. If they've already done it, just copy it, paste it. That way you can use it. As always, stay safe. If you haven't watched my other video, maybe the title put you off or something else, but you want to have safety in these reports, so please watch that video. And I'm sure you're excited to know what's next. Next, we're going to talk about actual tables where we can do many-to-one relationships and represent those on a report. Those are key 
you're going to be using them in a lot of reports, so we need to discuss those. 